Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the tips and tricks videos on Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I hope you're well today. Today's video we're going to cover all you need to know about the bivouac system in the game. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Let's get into it. So your bivouacs are basically your fast travel points around the map and they're marked with these kind of tent symbols. There you go, there's another one there. They're all over the place. Great way of getting around the map um, uh, quickly. So, first thing I would suggest you do when you come to a bivouac is just launch your drone like this. And start. So, I, obviously, I've played the game for a while, so these are all marked. But launch a drone and just run it around the immediate area. And it will start to highlight all these areas like that and open up the map and you can see it will even pick up another bivouac and this is a very uh, quick way of finding locations all over the map so get into the habit when you first come to a bivouac of doing this before you do anything else do a whole 360 around now some of course Oh, there you go. Might be out of range. Make sure that you take this as far up as possible and have a good, good look around. Okay, so. Make sure you deploy your bivouac like that. Now you can skip the, you can skip this if you like. The, the animation I usually do. And um, now that you're into the bivouac, you've got a number of options. So we'll go, to, we'll go through these one by one. So these are basically boosts to your character while you're playing. There we go. I usually use this one, the XP boost, but um, you can use whatever you feel comfortable with and depending on how you play the game and basically this will give you an xp boost this is good early in the game for an hour for 60 minutes now i'll show you a little trick with these in a little bit and um, so let's just go through these increased resistance to injuries increased endurance increased drone speed increased stamina and then weapon accuracy though these two really are the ones that i uh, i use the majority of the time and you can see there's various percentages of what advantages it gives you always do one of these when you come into the bivouac just to give yourself a little bit extra boost tactics this is where you can cha actually change your class so you can see i can change around the class change whatever I like and um, you can actually click in and see the details of your class all the rest of it what extra um, benefits you get all the rest of it all the stuff about that um, you can't actually change your class here but if you bring up the menus as you would normally do sorry I'll get back into that if you bring the menus up like you normally do, you can just change your class like that. So it really doesn't matter. So you can get into the, while you're in the bivouac, and that might not be obvious, but you can actually get into all your menus. Um, I don't know why it's giving me that tutorial on all this. Anyway. So you can get into your, it's probably because I've changed class. So you can change your class here if you like on the fly. I guess you can grab your um, if you've saved um, saved different uh, loadouts for within that different classes you can do that crafting you can replenish your supplies in here I think if you haven't seen my uh, sync drone shot drone video yet uh, you can but I've, I mean I've got everything here I don't need anything but if I did need something I just click into this and I'd be able to craft um, assuming that I've got all the parts I need and it shows you what parts you need to craft any of these particular 
um, requirements. Very similar to uh, your rations. So if you needed to craft any of these, let's see if we, yeah, so see that's fiber rich. So you click in and see, choose one of these. So it's, it's blank at the moment. It's not obvious, you have to click in, choose one and then craft. So I've crafted a couple there. You got five of seven. So pretty straightforward for the crafting component of the bivouac. Here is the shop. And this is just like Maria's shop. You can basically build your blueprints from here. You can buy or sell. Um, whatever items you need. Pretty straightforward stuff and finally garage now make here's the thing i'm about to show you so you see how my helicopter is ticked and you can obviously if you buy vehicles you can select that as your default very important that you understand what that means when you tick these because what it will do every time you come to a bivouac when you exit, it will drop that particular vehicle uh, next to your bivouac. So I use the bivouac a lot, not only to fast travel, but to grab a helicopter. So I have the helicopter checked on all the time, 100% of the time. If you want to drive, obviously, you can um, pick something else. And then the last thing that you need to understand here, um, before we leave, and we're going to bring the teammates in in a sec, so you can see what happens with the teammates and how it changes is break camp so it gives you the option if you want to do a mission at night time or in the middle of the you know, early morning you can choose a time to leave so let's say 2120 and it will give it this little animation and the sun will go down it turns into night time and there you go. Now, if you bring up your map now, you can see my helicopter is right next to me. It's up there somewhere. I'm going to find it in a second. So that's a good, I love this feature um, on this game because it, it means you're guaranteed 100% of the time to have a vehicle now you have to deploy your bivouac you can't just fast travel to the bivouac and your um your helicopter is there you have to actually go in go through the steps of the animation and come back out to generate that vehicle now we are going to switch our teammates on for a second where is it yeah there we go so these guys are here, there they are. And then we're going to deploy the bivouac. Now, keep an eye on, um, remember I'd, I'd done my XP boost before? One thing that you can do to reset your preparation boost is to deploy your bivouac. And you watch up in the top right, it should give me a little prompt. Once the animation's finished, I don't know what's going on with his head, it's jittering a little bit. But there you go, up up here, it's reset your XP boost. Um, so actually you can continually have that preparation boosts if you keep going to different bivouacs during the game and it'll reset it, so you'd reset it to 60 minutes again. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is of course you can customize your teammates from within the bivouac like that you can do them on the fly which I think is a pretty nice little feature so there you go guys that's everything you need to know about bivouac basics it's um I love the way that they've added this into the game as opposed to wildlands where you all you could do is restock your ammo well that was that sorry I missed that uh, and you might have seen it on the animation. When you come to a bivouac and activate it, you it will. Uh, there you go. Ammo has been refilled. It will also refill your ammo automatically. So 
Um, that's one last thing that I forgot, I missed initially. So there you go. All you need to know about the bivouacs, like I said, it's a great little feature that they've added to Breakpoint, and I really, really do like this. And I use bivouacs a lot. Um, okay, that's all I had to say on that. I hope you're enjoying the series of little tips and tick tricks videos that I'm giving you on a Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If you want them to continue, drop a like down below, leave me a comment. If there's anything that you want me to cover uh, on this game, let me know down below and we will catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!